everybody. Did you just start it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so just keep it rolling. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, here we are. We're going to put the cylinder head on, uh, put the lifters in. So, come over here. I'll put a little uh, video link. I guess either here or here. I'm new to that, so so I'll, I'll put it somewhere. But anyways, um, read the manual on installing the head. We don't need any sealant or anything. They just say install the gasket dry. So that's as good as it gets for installing the head gasket. Oh, here's the head. Oh. It, of course, just goes plunk right on top. Now there are four bolts that are threaded on the top and six bolts that are not. One that's threaded goes so there, 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 and there, and there's a knot, and there's all the other things. The bolts threaded down to 110, threaded down, I put it down to 105. But, I just kind of feel it. Just positioning the gasket and all the bolts right now. Okay, all right. So let's uh, start putting these bolts down. Now we're supposed to do them in sequence. So, so you just do it kind of, you get them all down, but then you have to tighten them in sequence in a certain order. one I'm gonna put on a little bit later because that one has to have some Loctite on it. Just going until I get resistance from the bolt running into the head. to put some Loctite on the threads, which is what we will do. And how much Loctite is enough, right? How much is enough? Never know. Then we create the mini beast. Thanks for tuning in. This is the spring for the intake valve at cylinder number one. Since it's in top dead center right now, as you rotate the crankshaft, this spring will compress. Okay. 